police to arrest drivers they believe are high on marijuana. Welcome back to ABC 6 News at 530. I'm Liz Toth. And I'm John DeLuca. Defense attorneys are not happy at all with this decision. They see a huge gray area here, saying a police officer's observations alone should not be enough to prove a person is guilty. ABC 6 News anchor Alana Serrano is live in the newsroom with this story. Alana. John Liz, the attorney I spoke with today claims there's no surefire way to prove a person is too high to drive. But in Massachusetts, judges can use officer testimony. So as pot shops pop up across the state, police departments are training more officers to detect the signs of drugged drivers. Julie Goudreau and her colleagues at Del Signore Law voiced their concerns with a Massachusetts court ruling that drivers can be arrested based solely on what a police officer smells or sees. Those are concerning because when they're put into evidence as you know evidence that somebody's under the influence of marijuana, mm -hmm. when it could have just been use of marijuana, and we don't we don't have the scientific data to support that. Like whether the driver's eyes are red. Goudreau says it could mean someone used marijuana, but isn't necessarily impaired. Unlike alcohol, there's no sobriety test or breathalyzer that can prove whether someone's impaired. You have to consume enough marijuana to decrease your alertness, your judgment, your ability to respond. Under the ruling, officers can use their observations to make arrests, but to convict, prosecutors need more than just officer testimony. Still, that's not stopping police departments from doing their best. Drug recognition experts, or DREs, are officers that have advanced training, and as a result, their testimony typically holds more weight in court. The problem, not every community has enough. Dartmouth tells us they have two DREs, which is sufficient for them, but Fall River and Taunton have none. And police departments in Rhode Island are also training their officers for DRE certification now that marijuana is legal across the border and could soon be legal here, too. Live in the newsroom, I'm Alana Cerrone, ABC 6 News. Alana, thank you.